Now this, mortgage rates, they're at the highest level in seven years, can you believe? 4.6% on the 30-year. And people are rushing to buy homes before rates go even higher. The property man is with us. That will be Bob Massey. <laughs> All right, Bob. Um, am Morning, I sir. right in saying that with, with rates now, what, 4.6% 30-year fixed, uh, yes. probably going higher, is there indeed a rush of people to lock in the low rate while they can? Certainly, but I think we're spoiled. As you and I know, we remember years ago what it was like. Uh, I think under Carter, it was 12 percent. We've had great rates for the last, what, 10 years, maybe 3 percent, 3.2 percent. I mean, really, really good rates. So people are obviously a little alarmed by this because maybe they'll go up. So, yeah, there's a rush to it. But what I have found, Stuart, honestly, is that there's a percentage of the population that truly really understands interest rates and is concerned. There is that other large percentage of population that only cares about if the payment sticks within their budget, regardless of the interest rates. My problem is that investments in real estate are worth less these days because of the lack of deductibility of all mortgage interest and the lack of deductibility of some property taxes. That's, a, to me, that's a bigger problem with real estate investments than is a 4.6% 30-year fixed rate loan. What do you say? I think that's true as relates to individual families they're going to be buying. But let me tell you, what is going on in the, in the Southwest and the Southeast where the investors that you and I have talked about are building this portfolio of assets to rent out, I don't think they care that much because they're buying a quantity of property as part of a portfolio. But for the individual families or individual that buys a home, yes, but do they really understand, and I don't say that disrespectfully to them, are they really having that process that when they buy? I don't know, Stuart. I think they're worried about does it fit within their monthly payment and they want to own again regardless. Do you, do you, when I first came to America, I joined into the American dream and I found it right here. And my dream was always mm -hmm. own your own home. I think there's enormous virtue in owning the home in which you live. Do you think that ethic has declined a little with up and comers today? I think what's happened is those people that were victims of the crisis 10 years ago that then had to rent for a while because they had no credit and filed bankruptcies and were ripped off in loan modifications, still want to own again. I think that the millennials that you and I have talked about are getting a little older and understand home ownership. But I do think that people are conscious of what happened. There's a percentage of people that still remember what happened, but the human mind and the human being has a very short memory. And if they can get into the home, they will. But is there the same motivation? I think it's across the board. It varies. When a bubble bursts, it has long-lasting effects. That's a fact. Yes, sir. Bob Massey, thanks as always.